What's the first question again? Um, I'll just do surprise. them. Just do them. Just do them. Surprise. I can't remember. Go on. Give me a surprise. Um, we're delighted to have with us Omid Ali at the Cambridge Union. Omid, thank it's you. It's great to be here. here. Brilliant. Um, you're, a, you're a comedian, an actor, writer, producer. What do you consider yourself first and foremost? A, a very overweight and bald human being, uh, naturally. Um, but I suppose um, I, I started off on my Twitter page. I said I'm, a, I'm an artist with flair, struggling with weight issues. But I think I'm um, probably now more of a more of an actor than a stand-up comedian, but stand-up comedy is something I really enjoy. So I, I like the term actor-comedian. That sounds like Ponzi. Without sounding like Ponzi, an actor-comedian. A non-Ponzi actor -comedian. non actor comedian. Non-Ponzi actor comedian. What advice would you give somebody struggling to get into the acting or comedian world? I think um, the, the best thing you can do is just do it. I, 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 there's, a, there's an Iranian saying which is about, uh, roughly translated is, screw it, just do it. So you, you, you learn by doing it. And I think that's what I did. I, I, and not to be afraid of making mistakes. So if there was any, any opportunity to stand up and perform, even if it's someone's wedding or even a funeral, um, just do it. I think it's an important thing, just to do it. Learn, learn by doing it. And of all the things you've done, um, what do you consider your greatest achievement? Um, being married to my wife, Annabelle. You can hear her going, in the background. No, my greatest achievement um, in my career, I would say, um, would be to have, uh, to, to actually just keep going at my age and with my looks. I think it's extraordinary. Uh, somebody on Twitter said, um, you prove that even being fat, that you still have a career, being a bald, fat daddy bear. Which I quite like. You prove, you prove even a fat ball daddy bear can have a career. So I think that's my greatest achievement. Sorry. Um, so you had your first bit of success at Edinburgh with shows like um, with The Arab and the Jew. Yes. How important is it to your act um, to involve your ethnic and cultural heritage in, in what you do? I think it was very important at the beginning, but maybe not so much now. I think at the beginning I was uh, one of the first people of kind of ethnic origin to be doing it. In fact, back in the early well, the mid-90s, there's no one else. You've got one or two black comedians, but that was it. So it seemed important at the beginning, but maybe not so much now. Um, but I think that as I've got older, I do think that culture does impact personality. So I think it's an important part of who we are, but it's not all who we are. We're not, we're not totally defined by a culture, because at the end of the day, we are human beings and we have a spirit. And I think that's probably should be more of the focus of my comedy now, but back in the 90s, it was a very important part of it, yeah. But speaking of cultural heritage, last year you were in Sex and City 2, yes. which got, um, the critics said that it didn't represent the Middle East fairly or women. Do you agree with what they said and do you feel that that was evident throughout the filming or was it a kind of a shock to see the, the finished result? What, what, there was a scene in which they cut, which I felt they should have kept, was uh, there was a, a, a running thing about Miranda, played by Cynthia Nixon, where they put a hand to her and she was, oh my god, he showed the hand. And this is a running theme, it was meant to be a running theme throughout the, fi the film that she felt marginalised as a woman being told to keep quiet. And then um, in the scene where I think we've caught Samantha having sex on a beach, she gets very upset, uh, Miranda, because um, Samantha is being held for question, but the, the gentleman, Ricard Spurt, interesting name, was not going to be charged. And she goes, oh my God, what? How could you do this just because he's a man? And then she actually gets up into my face and I do that to push her away. She goes, oh my God, he did the hand. And Samantha says, no, honey, you got into his face. And there's a lovely voiceover about how um, it's probably things are more sexist, actually, than America, really, than in the Middle East. And it was just an interesting little thing about I moved away because she got in my face, whereas in America they told her to shut up. And that bit was cut because they needed some, they said, honey, we've got Dolce & Gabbana, we've got Prada, we've got, we've got to show that stuff. And I think that had they probably shown that scene, there probably wouldn't have been as much of a backlash. But, you know... It's, uh, I, I think it was nice to go to the Middle East. It was nice to see them outside of New York. But Sex and the City really is about the city in New York. So in a sense, like, people were uncomfortable with them being outside of New York. Speaking of leaving New York, but to change track slightly, if you were stranded on Desert Island, what would your three luxury items be? Um, my three luxury items uh, would be... Um, have I already answered this? I, I, I seem to remember I answered one of these things. I would take, um, I, I would take a, a, a Santana album and I would take a, a smoking jacket and a pipe because Ooh, I suppose... Is that one item? Well, th I would, I would, there are two items, actually. Okay. A smoking jacket and a pipe um, because creepily debonair would be my chosen castaway look. <laughs> Just to end, what's your favourite joke? 
My favorite joke, um, there's a number of jokes. I mean, the shortest joke, um, can I repeat what I said to everyone here? My, it's, I think the best short joke, it's the shortest joke in the world, it's five words, done by my friend Tim Vine, which is Velcro, what a ripoff. <laughs> That's my favorite joke. It's a good one. It's a good one, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. My pleasure. Tonight. Thank you.